Can you tell me about the first day you put on the uniform? Well, it goes back all the way to uh, 1974, just fresh off the farm over in North Georgia, just east of Dalton. Uh, I'd actually thought what I would do at some point uh, is get some higher education, go back and run a carpet mill over in, uh, in North Georgia. Went to North Georgia College and showed up for freshman orientation uh, in September 1974. Uh, so that's uh, almost 41 years ago. So that's uh, from that point forward, then got commissioned in uh, June of 1978 in the old uh, Class B khakis, if you can remember those, and haven't looked back since. You took command of U.S. Army Central in June 2013. What has been the most challenging and the most rewarding part of your job? I think the most, uh, the, the most challenging piece and the most rewarding piece are, are one and the same. It's taking uh, the theater combined forces land component command, our sent uh, into CJTF Combined Joint Task Force uh, Operation Inherent Resolve, and then getting that mission up and moving. And uh, I think that's been the most challenging and uh, also the most rewarding. Could you tell me more about the headquarters involvement in South Carolina and Shore Air Force Base? Really, when you look at Patton Hall, it serves as much as anything as a, uh, not only a headquarters building, but a command and control f uh, facility uh, that keeps us connected to all of our forces that are here in the continental United States. It also allows us to connect forward into this income area of operation. Uh, we're big members of the Sumter community here and uh, also extend ourselves up into Columbia and, and support Fort Jackson quite a bit. Uh, it's a tremendous community here, uh, welcomes uh, the, the Army presence, and uh, we're proud to be a part of the Sumter community.